Hello everybody, we're loaded up and we're headed to Little Talbot Island State Park. It's up near Jacksonville, Florida. Got about a three hour drive. We'll see you when we get there. All right, everybody, I just arrived. Uh, I checked in at the ranger station. That's actually across the street from the campground. So I guess the main body of the camp and the campground, uh, or the state park, I should say, and the campground are opposite each other. So we're gonna drive down this road, a little bumpy, find our site, set up, and then we'll go from there. Okay, everybody, finally I've got everything set up here at camp. I'm going to give you a brief uh, little walkthrough here of how I set things up. And then we are going to go explore. The campground is separate from the park. The state park is on the opposite side of the road. And they close at sunset. Uh, however, uh, one of the uh, forest employees let me know here that the kayak launch is not too far from me. So I'm going to give you a brief overview of uh, the campsite, uh, what it looks like uh, empty, and what it looks like with my stuff in it. And then we're going to head over to the kayak launch, and then we're going to try to get over to the state park, do a little overview there, get to know the lay of the land. All right, guys, so this is site number seven that's here at Little Talbot Island. And uh, as you can see, you know, picnic table, fire ring, your electrical over there in the corner uh, pretty much everything is a back into site okay there's no pull through sites here the state campground um, with the camp recreation side being across the street and uh, yeah let me give you how give you a little look see on how I set mine up now the truck is gonna move the truck isn't gonna stay like that So I've got my Coleman tent all set up. I've done a uh, YouTube video review on that. Picnic table, the outlet, got all the fishing gear right there. Give you a little walk around here, as you can see. Got the grill set up in the back. There's my fire pit area, some firewood for this evening. I'm sure I'll be stocking up on that. So yeah, just a really quick overview of my site, what it looks like, where I'm at. Let's go see if we can find that kayak launch. All right, so I have found the kayak launch, so to speak. It's here in the marsh. Look at all of these little fiddler crabs coming out. Absolutely insane. But anyways, here at the launch, it's low tide, obviously. Goes back a ways. I've seen some mullet jumping down here in this area. I had a very nice conversation with a nice couple. Roger and Barbara, they were out here for a bike ride. They live in St. Augustine, Florida. Love St. Augustine. That is a great town. Absolutely love it. Lots to do there. Did bike rides through there. It's beautiful. But look at this. Look at this marsh area. I can explore all this now there's a bridge i'm going to zoom in here there's that bridge and i guess that's a1a if i go underneath that bridge and paddle there might be a deeper wider body of water of course it's low tide now that's that's why we're you know seeing all these shellfish beds and everything that are right here look at all that folks look at all that 
And you see the little bait fish jumping around. But let me zoom back to that bridge where you see all the cars going. So if you take, I guess, 81A, Roger, we're saying you can go all the way up uh, to Fort Clinch. Uh, you can go all the way up to Fort Clinch and what have you and see that nice historic site up there. We might try to make our way up there. Tomorrow's weather forecast. 50% chance of rain, folks. 50% chance of rain. So this is day one, showcasing some of the park. Absolutely beautiful. You got a bird flying overhead. There it is. <laughs> All right, so anyways, kayak launch. So we're gonna leave the kayak launch area and we're gonna go over across the street to the state park. We're gonna see what we can see over there. Um, I believe it closes at sunset uh, and it's probably very close to being that. So let's shoot over there, see what we can see, get the lay of the land. All right, I've crossed the street and I've come back to the main part of the park where the beach is. Way in the back here, there's a uh, pavilion area. This is the furthest I can go. It's gated off and the other part is for employees. This uh, place is actually facing a lot of erosion. So, uh, you know, henceforth the uh, shortness on the campsites, um, there's only few and far between. And then uh, here, limited uh, access, but beautiful water and beach from what I am told by the park ranger. So let's check it out. All right, so we walked from the parking lot this little bathhouse area. Yellow flag warning, medium hazard. And we're gonna walk out to the ocean. Out to the beach and see the water. This is awesome. Got people down there fishing on the beach. Got a beach buggy down that way. More people strolling and fishing. Boy, it's perfect. The only thing that I see so far is a drawback to this place. And the park ranger let me know is that kayak launch at low tide. He recommends I go to this place. It's uh, called the Boathouse and launch over there and not over in this area when it's very low tide. He doesn't want me to get stuck out there, and I appreciate his help, appreciate his guidance. That is probably what we're going to do. Look at this, folks. Walking on all these shells and rocks. Got a couple container ships out there. Also, there's a Navy shipyard here in the area. And there's a Marine Corps base as well. So this island is a hopping island. It's, it's a busy island, at least in the area that I'm in. Restaurants for a few and far between as I was coming onto the island. Uh, good thing, obviously, I brought food. I'm camping. But, uh, yeah, you're here for the water, folks. You're here for the beaches, the water. This is not a tourist spot. This is a relaxation spot. 